Hi, I'm Rhoda. I'm here in the Maiden studio to answer a question we get all the time. What is the difference between a saucepan and a saucier? I'm gonna explain the differences in the shape and also what dishes they're best suited for. Let's get into it. What is a saucepan? It has a small flat base, tall straight sides at a 90 degree angle, a long handle. This size has a little helper handle here and a tightly fitting lid. They usually come in about two to four quart size. What's beneficial about a saucepan has a small circumference around the top. That gives you less surface area if you're trying to heat something quickly. They excel at reducing sauces and liquids. When I'm cooking something kind of splattery like tomato sauce or even small batch frying, saucepans are great because of those tall walls. Like they will prevent the food from spilling out and dirtying your stove top. Also great for creating a vortex for poaching eggs. You can get a really nice vortex going and just drop your poached egg right in the center. They are great at cooking grains. Any kind of rice, lentils, this is a great choice. This saucepan is in stainless clad material, but we also make it in a nonstick. So if you're someone that tends to burn your rice a little bit or scorch your leftovers, you could try the nonstick version because it's super easy to clean. What is a saucier? Saucies really fly under the radar compared to saucepans. They're definitely less known in American home kitchens and they are wider than they are tall. They also have a handle and a lid. The key feature of this pan are these rounded corners that connects the base to the side, so it just gently slopes upwards, which make it so easy to whisk and stir, and no ingredients get stuck or scorched while you're cooking them, which makes it really nice for dessert sauces, anything you need to cook a little bit more gently, like chocolate ganache or caramel. They have a wider base, which allows for more evaporation, so your sauces reduce and thicken faster. This design is really helpful for anything that requires constant stirring, a custard, roux-based sauce like gravy or bechamel, or something like risotto that you have to stir the whole time. Because of that gentle slope of the wall, chefs love sauciers for tossing pasta in sauces and for making something like a stir fry. And if you're someone who makes a ton of mac and cheese like me, you might want to try the nonstick version of this pan, which makes it really easy for cleanup. I hope all of that was helpful in understanding the difference between saucepans and sauciers. Head to maidencookware.com to see all of the different sizes and materials that we make them in. I'm Rhoda in the Maiden Studio, and I'll see you next time.